And tonight, former President Donald Trump is back in New Jersey to rally with his supporters after becoming the first ever former president to face charges in a federal courtroom. Good evening. I'm Ryan Yamamoto. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Trump appeared in a Miami courtroom today pleading not guilty to 37 separate criminal counts related to his handling of classified documents. This is a live look for Trump's golf club in Bentminster, New Jersey, where the former president said he would address the crowd tonight. Trump still taking the defiant stance where we've seen throughout this entire process. I think it's a rigged deal here. We have a rigged country. We have a country that's corrupt. Reporter Chelsea Jones is in Miami with all the developments from this historic day. Ryan and Elizabeth, the former president left Miami two hours after his court appearance. His supporters did show up waving flags outside of his Doral uh, golf resort, but they also were here outside of the courthouse. It wasn't, though, the anticipated crowd size that local law enforcement were expecting, but demonstrators showed up in the hundreds. Former President Donald Trump stopped at a Miami area restaurant following his arraignment on felony charges. We have a country that's got nothing but problems. We're a nation in decline, and then they do this stuff. Earlier, a lawyer for the former president entered a plea of not guilty to all 37 counts. He is accused of illegally retaining classified documents, storing them at his Mar a Lago home, and conspiring to hide them from the government after it subpoenaed him to get them back. What we are witnessing today is the blatant and unapologetic weaponization of the criminal justice system. We want Trump! We want Trump! Supporters and protesters brought their opinions of the case. This whole country has been brainwashed. Sad day in America. Well, this is one of several investigations into Trump. This is the first time the Justice Department has brought charges against a former president. In announcing the indictment Friday, special counsel Jack Smith maintained the case is not politically motivated. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. Trump, who is the current front runner for the Republican presidential nomination, has seen his poll numbers go up since his indictment. Trump will not have to surrender his passport as a condition of his release. There is also no limit on his travel. Political advisors believe that his court appearance, Trump that is, will only boost his campaign. Ryan Elizabeth, back to you. Chelsea, thanks so much. Meanwhile, federal judge Eileen Cannon, a Trump appointee, has been assigned to this case. Now legal experts are weighing in about the potential impact. She controls everything from the schedule of this case, which obviously has different implications than a typical case, because unlike other cases, we're looking at the electoral calendar here. She also has a lot of control over jury selection, and of course, for very obvious reasons, Who's on this jury makes a big difference. For live updates and all the new developments on the prosecution of former President Trump, you can head to our website, kpix.com.